Hi guys, my name's Lisa and I'm a designer here at Sizzix and I'm really excited today to be able to show you a brand new collection we've got coming out called the Lisa Jones Botanical Collection. So in this range I've got some products and some thinlet dyes that are strongly inspired by nature um, as you'll see as I show you the products. So firstly I've got a cardstock pack. So there are 10 different colours um, in this pack. And this is the same thickness and quality as our Sizzix cardstock, so the core colours, the neutrals and the festives. It's all got that same lovely texture on one side and smooth on the other. So if I just bring you some samples of the cards out of the pack. These are the colours that you get. So as you can see, you've got these really nice range of blues and greens um, for the foliage elements um, I've got in the dyes. And then some really nice um, kind of rust and kind of dusty pinks um, for the flower elements and also some kind of neutrals to tie them all together. So we've got a cream and a light grey. So they all work really nicely together, um, but you can also kind of mix and match two or three together to create a little colour scheme. So I really like these three together, for example, that would be a really nice kind of colour theme for a project. Or you could keep it simple and just use your greens. So they're the cardstock pack. So like I said, there's 10 different colours, six of each sheets. So a really nice uh, value for money, 60 sheets in that set. Then I've got a um, pattern paper pad, um, which corresponds colour wise with, with the cardstock. This has got um, 60 sheets again, and it's a really nice thickness. And as you can see, um, I've got a range of designs that correspond with the die sets, which you'll see in a bit. And these pages are all double sided, so you've got a different colour on each. So if you're cutting something, you've got a nice colour on the back as well. You haven't got that white. And yeah, if I just bring in one of the cardstock colours, you'll be able to see just how nicely they go together. And a little extra touch for this, I really wanted to show you the um, foiled pages. So there's a couple of pages in here that have got that really nice gold foiling on there just to finish off your project and give that extra bit of sparkle. So they're the foliage and I've also got some polka dots there as well, just as a nice base for your projects. So that is the patterned paper pad. Then I've got a set of washi tapes. Um, so these come in a pack of three and I've got a few here opened so I can show you properly. So I've got a foliage design, which is on like a, a transparent white background and then a really nice kind of bright coloured leaves there that also match the cardstock. Then I've got a flowery one as well, which you'll see in a bit matches the designs of the dies. So that one's a really nice and um, brightly coloured tape. Then we have this one, which is a polka dot, but it's also got that nice foiling on it, just to finish off your projects. And it's also got in the same cream color as the cardstock and the pattern papers. So they're the products in the range. And um, then the rest are thin lit die sets and um, that all work together with everything. And um, so this one firstly is called the Serif Alphabet set. And I'll just show you the size of these. So I wanted to create a die set that was like a really nice alphabet, but also a nice scale for some home decor projects, as well as card making. So these are like a really nice size and you get two ampersand sizes here as well. So you can have the full size one or like a little one if you're doing some initials on a smaller project. Then we've got this set, which is frames and borders. Um, so in this set, you've got three different um, shaped framelit sets, which also cut out the thin border. Um, so I'll show you these. So here I've used some of the patterned papers and the coloured cardstock that kind of um, match up nicely together. And I've got some of the foiling in there as well. So these are the different sizes that you get and you can like mix and match and just use the dropouts or you can also use the thin, delicate frame that comes with each shape.
Then onto the flower sets. So I'm going to show you these together because they they work together. Um, so if you do buy both sets, you can mix and match these together. So they're called Wild Blooms 1 and 2. Um, and so from, you probably spotted this frame here. Um, this is, I've used both sets here and the alphabet set, obviously. Um, so you can see that they all kind of work the same kind of scale together. So these are what you get in the set. So in Wild Blooms 1, you've got all these different shapes here, um, which you can use together to create like a little bunch. Um, or you can also do it without the stems, like so, to do like nice little corner pieces. And this is the second one. So the set has also got like some details in the die. So these have got like cut lines that go into the flowers so you can actually make them a bit two dimensional. So you can stick them flat or you can use our sculpting kit to really bring them to life a little bit more. The next one is Wild Leaves Wreath. Um, so this one is a really nice set that is easy to use. So you've got the full wreath shape here that cuts all in one go and is really intricate. But if you're like me, I like layering up with pieces and really kind of adding those small details in there. So that is the main die. So I'll show you this for scale. So this is the size of it. And as you can see, that's cut really nice um, in one of the colored cardstock. And these are the extra elements that you can um, place on top of it or use on their own. Next we have Wild Blossom Corners. So this set um, works similarly as the wreath. You get one main piece for your corners and then you've got some layering pieces as well that you can add on after. So if I show you here, these work great with the um, frames. So they work to the same scale on the rectangles and they also work with the circle. So they're nice like little cornered off pieces which you can use on their own like that or build them up with the different colours. And these are all made using the coloured cardstock, so you can really see how the colours lend themselves to the design there. Lastly, we have um, the Wild Blossom Borders. So this one works in the same way, but it's a bit of a different kind of design uh, shape, which works for like uh, bordering top and bottom of your projects. And this one also works with the rectangles here. So this one I've used just a simple kind of two-tone little colour scheme going on there and here I've used a lot of the layering pieces to really build it up and make like a nice little floral scene. So they are all the die sets. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of projects and just show you what I've used um, just to see everything kind of tying in together. So this one I've used the blossom corners um, and used those extra elements to build them up with the cardstock and then this one is the alphabet um, letter using one of the pattern papers with the foil element there just to add that bit of extra sparkle then these are little personalized frames which would look lovely in a new baby's room um, as a gift or something like that and i've used the alphabet set the corners again and the pattern paper in the background um, this one is using the elements from the wreath. I haven't used the full wreath, but I've just used the extra foliage elements. I've used a smaller ampersand here um, to personalize this card. And I've used the foiled pattern paper just in the thin piece of the frame from the circle framelets, just to finish that one off. This one is just to show all the cardstock colors kind of mixed in together just to show how well they kind of work together. And I've used the Serif Alphabet set here again. And this one, I've used the washi tape here as kind of like a rough background for my card. And um, as you can see, the colors all tie in together. Um, and I've used my sculpting kit to add a bit of dimension to the card there. That is using the Wild Blooms. So I hope I've given you a good insight into the range and everything that is included in it. Um, I'm excited to see what you make with it when you get your hands on it. Um, so I look forward to that. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.